for me, this is a whole new journey. Patrick Kennedy is no longer in politics, but he's still in the spotlight. And he's using his notoriety to bring attention to a cause that's personal to him, mental health advocacy. The 43-year-old and a group of top neuroscientists are launching an initiative to improve funding and unify efforts in brain science. I hear people say that the brain represents the last medical frontier uh, for discovery. Kennedy had very public struggles with addiction and depression. Now he hopes to erase the stigma of disorders. He speaks about the issue in personal terms. His uncle, Sergeant Shriver, had Alzheimer's disease. And his father, Massachusetts Senator Edward Kennedy, died of brain cancer in 2009. As I said in my eulogy to my dad, I always wish that I had more time with my dad. Patrick credits science with helping his father live an extra year. And he believes research will benefit every American, from troops injured on the battlefield to those with diseases. It's essentially not only the key to unlock the door of understanding for Alzheimer's, but also for autism, and also for Parkinson's, and also for spinal cord injury, and also for everything else. Kennedy was expected to release a memoir this fall, but he tells the AP the idea was scrapped because he can't effectively work on both a book and the One Mind for Research campaign. Kennedy is also focusing on his personal life. He's expected to marry a 32-year-old middle school teacher this summer. The couple lives in New Jersey with her three-year-old daughter from a previous marriage. Kennedy retired from Congress in January after eight terms as a Democrat representing Rhode Island. Sandy Cozell, The Associated Press.